celebrate a beloved young and restless patriarch on the anniversary of his death. We'd say they just don't make them like they used to, but really, that feels like undercutting how much the young and the restless late great Jerry Douglas was truly one of a kind. He was a television vet of more than 20 years when he signed on in 1982 to head up Genoa City's Abbott family as John. He was the third actor to tackle the role, but once Young and Restless found Douglas, it was all over. He stayed with the CBS Sudzer for over 30 years, playing it through John's untimely death until his spirit's final appearance in 2016. And in a world where it seems like bad guys get all the fame, that was no small feat for one of the good ones like John. Yes, he had his share of romantic entanglements that drove his family crazy and there was that feed with Victor, but John's moral compass remained so strong that even after his untimely death in 2006, he stuck around for another decade as a ghost intent on guiding his wayward family to do what was right. And that's a true testament to how much Douglas and John were beloved. Young and Restless isn't one of the more fantastical daytime shows out there. They have their share of wild stories, but for the most part, it's pretty decently grounded. So to spend 10 years as a ghost meant death or not. John was too important to lose, even after trying Douglas out in a new role as lookalike actor Alastair Wallingford in 2008. As Laura Lee Bell Christine wrote on Instagram, we all love Jerry so much. At times, he felt like a father figure, maybe because we all wanted John Abbott as our father. And sometimes he remind me of my dad. But more often with all the events we've had, filled with laughs, he was the kindest man and the sweetest friend and I will miss him so much. Douglas' last appearance was in 2016, but John Abbott was never far from the hearts and minds of his family nor of us. We'll miss him, and we'll miss wondering when Douglas might once again visit us in Genoa City soaps, as every fan knows, have a tendency to flip through both characters and actors on a fairly regular basis. People join shows and leave, characters pop up only to be killed off. Sometimes, though, actors find a true home on their soap, and both they and their characters become synonymous off-screen. The actor refused to let John's death get him down and in 2007, Douglas proved he wasn't just a great actor, but also an amazing crooner when he released his jazz album. The best is yet to come. He went on tour, proving that there's still plenty of life after death. On screen, he made his final ghostly appearance in 2016 and passed away five years later on November 9, 2021, two days shy of his 89th birthday. The good news is, the Abbott family got to celebrate Douglas' birthday a month early, a blessing they didn't realize at the time, as they got to give everyone's favorite dad one final farewell bash. And Jess Walton Jill paid a special tribute to her former TV husband and father of their on-screen child, Billy, with a family photo. Rest in peace, my dear TV husband, Jerry Douglas, she shared. Thank you for the laughter all those years. Much, much love to you and your beautiful family, Kim and Hunter and everyone. It's been two years since Douglas passed and seven since he stopped by Genoa City, but as Belle put it in her tribute, there will always be a part of us that will hold John Abbott dear as the father we wished we could all have.